Hello, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and from unboxings.com and here I have the Samsung Galaxy S or the i9000 just going to do a quick demo video for you as a follow up to our unboxing video earlier on and uh, we're going to have a look at some of the features and some of the uh, apps that are installed so uh, just to quickly recap if uh, you haven't already seen um, the Galaxy S or our previous video recap on specification uh, quad band and tri band so it's quad band for GSM, tri band for HSDPA and 3G the OS is Android 2.1 the display is 4 inch diagonal and that's 480 by 800 pixels and it's a super AMO LED display hence the fantastic brightness and uh, colour uh, reproduction on the actual screen not that it's coming across terribly well in the actual video because uh, undoubtedly you'll probably be watching it on a, a standard LCD monitor or something like that but uh, it is a fantastic display uh, which is obviously just turned off uh, does support HD video recording with a 5 megapixel autofocus camera on the back sadly there's no flash um, but so uh, we do have a 1 gigahertz processor and 512 meg of RAM this model is the 8 gig version so it's 8 gig of storage also has a micro SDHC memory card space on the back underneath the cover uh, so that covers really the basics and uh, we're going to have a look at some of the uh, features and we're going to start off by setting up the Wi-Fi so we're going to wireless and network Wi-Fi settings, Wi-Fi switched on let's set up the Wi-Fi and put in the web key and connect, it's obtaining an address and we're connected so pretty straightforward to actually connect to a wireless network and we come back out of there and so first things first let's go into the browser uh, you'll notice there isn't a shortcut for the browser on the desktop so why don't we go ahead and actually add one so push the button here go into add we want a shortcut and uh, it's an application we want a shortcut for and it took a second or two to come up but let's go and find internet there we go, and that's up the top corner there. So it's pretty quick. Obviously, I'm on Wi-Fi and over broadband, and but uh, let's go to our site. Let's come up with one of the suggestions. Page loading extremely quickly. I'm rendering rather quickly as well. Uh, slightly slowed down there. Bear in mind that this could be partly down to my Wi Fi and internet connection. Okay, so the page is just about loading now. It did take a little while, but like I say, it could be down to my Wi Fi or internet connection. Don't have the fastest here uh, living in the countryside. So we can actually rotate the display, which is just turned off again. And if we rotate the handset, the display rotates accordingly. And we can use two fingers to zoom in and scroll around and pinch to zoom back out. So you're rotating the display back around. Display rotation is pretty quick, in actual fact. Processor in here is pretty fast as well as a 1 GHz processor. So the rotate is very quick. And uh, scrolling is nice and smooth and also pretty quick. Um, as I've already mentioned, the display being Super AMOLED, does make a great difference to actually looking at graphics on screen so the oranges and greens um, really do pop and really do look good so that's uh, rather a good thing so we come back out of here and let's go and take a look let's take a look at the maps and ok that and let's see if we actually do pick up a GPS signal do also support two finger zooming in here which is good Again, the load time is a little slow. Suspect that is down to the internet connection speed here at the moment. More than anything else. So two finger zooming. As you can see there, it's flashing away in the top corner, trying to acquire a GPS signal. We'll obviously zoom also in the corner too. Uh, but the, the good thing about that is that it does support the pinch to zoom feature which uh, is, is lacking from some other Android handsets so that's already on there so it's pretty cool come back out of there uh, let's go into the Android market 
and well, I just wanted to do it around that way. Uh, I have a Google account, so I'm going to just sign into my Google account. I'll just sign in. I did actually sign in, it's dropped me back to the home screen. I will accept terms of conditions and it loads Android Market, as you can see. Uh, it's fully loaded, as you can see there. So um, I'm assuming that most people will have seen Android Market before. So this is really nothing, nothing different or unusual. But obviously we have apps there, which are into categories. We have games, which again are in categories. And then finally downloads. And it's going to tell me that there's an update for Google Maps, as it almost always does on a new handset. So we're going to go ahead and update Google Maps. And we'll look at that. Start in the background, as you can see there in the top left corner, has shown that there is a download in progress and uh, it's just starting up there. So we'll just come back out there. Now, in signing into Android Market, it does also set up your Google Mail account for you. You'll notice that I am having to rotate the handset quite a lot because it's defaulting to landscape and portrait in different applications. But this is going to go ahead and actually load up the conversation. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually used my uh, Gmail account here, as you can see, and this is only an account I use for obviously demo purposes, so you don't have to spam me. But uh, that does load up the conversation there. Take a look, at, quick look at YouTube. Again, it's wanting me to work this way around. So we'll go ahead and do a search. We'll search for the OD unboxing. So that's. Uh, this is basically my alter ego, if you like, or my YouTube account name. And you can see all my, also my selection of my videos listed here. Uh, and let's go into the Omni HD. And the video loaded pretty quickly. So there wasn't much wait time there for it actually to start playing. But uh, we'll just stop that. You get the idea. It plays quite, quite nicely in place. And obviously you can list all the videos there as you can see so that's pretty good and uh, well it's pretty standard but it was working quite well uh, one thing that isn't standard about uh, the Galaxy S is the fact that we have Swipe pre-installed um, Swipe is available for download um, as an Android application that you can install on other Android handsets but uh, Samsung actually have pre-installed it on the Galaxy S so let's take a quick look at that we'll go into messaging and we'll wait for the display to rotate. There we go. We're going to compose a new message. Now, so we have the standard QWERTY keyboard there, which is an Android standard thing, really. And obviously it does work in Landscape too, as well as Portrait. Now, if we want to change the keyboard, we've got some options. So first of all, we could change the actual keyboard type here from a QWERTY keyboard to a 4.3, which is like a numeric style uh, multi-tab or predictive T9 or XT9 style or we can use a, hand, a handwriting box and actually use our fingers to write on the screen you kind of get the idea um, or well, there's an alternative handwriting box there yeah so we've got letters but we can switch, we can switch back to QWERTY keypad there's another option also swipe um, you may have seen this before but if we do a long press up the top here we can change the input method to swipe now, Swipe works in a rather different way. You do have a QWERTY style keyboard, but the way it works is by literally, I'm going to delete all that up there, by swiping your finger over the letters that constitute the word that you're looking for. So, um, if I want to type in hello, I just swipe my fingers over the letters for hello without taking my finger off, hence the name Swipe. So, hello comes up really easily and quickly. We just delete that out and we could actually type in um, something else, uh, let's type in world there we go and world, that comes up very easily um, you can get really quick with this, uh, it's very fast um, once you actually get the hang of it um, and some things do come up with options because uh, as you're swiping over letters 
uh, it may actually be that there are multiple combinations for those letters to actually uh, to form a word or uh, if you haven't been totally accurate with the letters that you're falling on when you're changing direction and stuff but I think it works very, very well there we go and you get the idea um, with a bit of practice you can actually get really fast with swipe and you don't have to tap away at the screen and in actual fact you can if you want to uh, use a combination yeah well see I'll make the typo there but you get the idea you can use a combination of tap or swipe uh, which works quite well and uh, yeah it works right I, I think swipe is actually very good it does take a bit of getting used to and obviously when you have your finger on the screen you can't see the letters behind it so you have to have a familiarization um, with the actual lay, lay, layout of a QWERTY keyboard um, so if you already know the layout of the QWERTY keyboard you're going to find it a lot easier to use swipe than if you're the sort of person that just has to sort of dab away at the screen um, but swipe works very well Samsung are pushing that feature actually quite a lot um, and uh, when we actually went to the launch event a couple of days ago um, it was mentioned an awful lot of times so uh, I think it's something to be proud of and it's something to be uh, it is a feature but whether or not it's a feature enough to sell the phone I don't think so but I think it's a nice thing to have on there other applications we'll just pop in and have a look at uh, I've obviously mentioned that this uh, to me looks uh, very iPhone uh, with the sort of squares around the actual icons um, I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing but uh, you know, it's uh, it's certainly noticeable. Uh, so in here we got an FM radio, uh, which is probably going to want me to actually connect a headset. But we can go ahead and scan all channels. Uh, obviously, it's saying there my headphones aren't plugged in. Uh, the headphones are required because uh, it wants to use the headphone cable um, as the FM aerial in actual fact. So let's come back out of there. Um, calendar. That's something that some people are obviously quite keen on. Um, but there's your standard calendar, that's your month view. Tap down the bottom, we actually create a new event, which is pretty easy to do. So we can create the name of the event or title, uh, when it's from, when it's to, and uh, which calendar it appears in. So if you have multiple calendars, you can actually choose which calendar it appears in. It's pretty useful if you're synchronizing multiple calendars in actual fact. So if we go ahead and cancel that, and we can go to week view. We've got day view, and then we've got a list view, which uh, just shows you the upcoming uh, sort of agenda. Um, two items in there which are standard calendar events rather than events I put in um, but actually are listed there. Don't forget Father's Day guys um, <laughs> but uh, it does actually just list any events that you've got coming up um, over a period of time even if they are sort of kind of days apart it will just list them that's you know, next next couple of events there that you'll be able to scroll through um, so I think the gender view is quite good. We come back out here and uh, we also have uh, My Files and Samsung Apps Samsung have their own apps here as well. Uh, okay, which it's not going to like because I don't have a SIM card installed. I should have tried that earlier on. So the other thing we can do. So the other thing we can do is go ahead and set up accounts, and we can add an account. Uh, so we can set up Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace. Um, so you can add a corporate account which refers to exchange basically and you can configure an exchange email account and the nice thing is you can actually configure more than one exchange email account and uh, that will synchronize contacts calendar and obviously your emails for multiple exchange email accounts works really well uh, and it's a feature that you actually do get with uh, Android 2.1 and obviously 2.2 uh, for, uh, for you. So uh, I'm not going to go ahead and set that up right now because that would be pretty boring for you to see but uh, you basically you do get the idea. You can determine how uh, data is synchronized on your different accounts. As you can see there, sync is on on my Gmail account um, but uh, and it's set to do it in background data and auto sync so that's quite cool. Um, there are multiple accounts that you can set up. You can sell, obviously set up POP3 and IMAP and that kind of stuff so that's pretty good. You can list your applications that you've got installed uh, and running applications down the bottom here and have a look at about phone. It tells us that it's the GTI 9000 as we know that uh, obviously it's being sold uh, over in the UK as the Samsung Galaxy S. I think it's being sold as the GTI 9000 elsewhere and uh, it tells us what our kernel version is, the fact that we've got a build number which is Eclair and 2.1 update 1. Um, that's all really on there so that's pretty cool.
Uh, I think that really does cover sort of the main features of the phone in terms of the apps that are on here. Uh, hopefully I haven't missed too much. Um, if you do have anything that you specifically you would like to see, then feel free to drop me a line and let me know, uh, and we'll take a look at it. But uh, I think that really does cover sort of main main things. Maybe daily briefing. That's going to update over Wi-Fi. That's going to want me to add a city. So let's go ahead and add London. There we go. And it's uh, well, that's AccuWeather. That's a nice weather outlook there, as we can see. Well, wish it was warmer, but uh, it tells me that uh, it's partly cloudy today. Um, tomorrow it's going to be fairly sunny, and uh, Monday, well, partly cloudy. And uh, well, there we go. You get the idea. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a nice layout there, and we can add finance, we can add stocks, and we can add. Uh, news I think that's sort of an RSS and schedules and that kind of stuff so um, that's quite a nice feature so that is a kind of a quick demo and summary of the Samsung Galaxy S this particular model was provided by our friends over at Clove Technology at clove.co.uk that's c-l-o-v-e.co.uk 8 gig model which is uh, currently shipping on special offer with an additional 8 gig micro SDHC memory card which is really cool uh, that is bundling that free of charge so don't forget to follow us on Twitter, on twitter.com slash Tracy and Matt. And I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracyandmatt.co.uk.